Hi everyone, welcome back. There are many videos out there on YouTube that show how you can convert a recorded instrument audio file into a MIDI file so you can have maybe MIDI instrument of the same notes being played like the guitar, vocals or bass and few others. Majority of them rely on Melodyne to do the conversion. Some DAWs have the built-in pitch correction engine that can do a very similar job of converting the audio into MIDI notes like Logic Pro X, Cubase, FL Studio and few others. What if you are using a DAW that doesn't support that and does rely on Melodyne to do the conversion like Cakewalking Band Lab or if you are using Personas Studio One Artist Edition which only comes trial version of Melodyne like in Cakewalk. When you install Cakewalk by BandLab, you get 30 days of Melodyne to try it. During the trial period, you can not only do pitch correction, time shifting, but you can also do audio to MIDI conversion. But once the 30 day trial period ends, not only you cannot do any pitch correction anymore or time correction, you cannot even convert any audio to MIDI, to the best of my knowledge. I've tried this many times and I'm pretty certain you won't be able to do it. But there are alternatives and I'm going to show you a couple of them. One is pretty old technology as well, but it still works. SampLab VSD is a recent plugin that you can download and install for free that allows you to upload your audio file into the cloud system that does the conversion and returns back detected MIDI notes. And then you can drag those detected MIDI notes onto a new instrument track and you have MIDI. And here's an example. So we've got the audio. Let's get uploaded. And converted to MIDI. And of course, being MIDI, you can change any notes you like. This is really great. Very handy if you're doing small audio files converting from audio to MIDI. Personally, I have few issues with it. One is that you will need an internet connection to do the conversion. Now this may not be a big problem. Of course, once the conversion is done, you don't really need the internet anymore. You do have the MIDI notes. But what if the system goes down? Or what if they start charging a monthly subscription? Again, I have no affiliation and I'm not even endorsing this. But please do give it a try. Now you may not be aware that Waves Tune from Waves also does MIDI export. Waves Tune was one of the first VST plugins that allowed pitch correction manually alongside Antares Auto Tune. Matter of fact, Waves Tune was one of the first plugins they actually purchased from Waves back version 9. And I do remember I paid a fortune for it even on special, but now they're only $35.99. Now there are two editions of it. The one that you need to get is Waves Tune. Waves Tune LT does not have the MIDI export option. It is cheaper by $5, but miss this one out. The one you need to get is Waves Tune, the full edition. And recently I decided to upgrade my version 9 into version 12, and it's gonna cost me $18 to upgrade. It is an alternative and probably much economical than buying Melodyne. It does very similar work. Of course, Melodyne has a newer technology than Waves Tune. Waves Tune relies on rewire technology, where Melodyne is now already using ARA2. But if all you wanted to do is have a little bit of pitch correction on your vocals for notes here and there, and then you want to do at the same time audio to MIDI conversion, it's really great price. Again, I'm not a fan of Waved. I do have limited amount of plugins. Most of them are still version 9. I haven't upgraded and they still work. If you do decide to buy Waves Tune, I will leave my affiliate link at the bottom. That way you get some percentage off. So it might be even cheaper than $35.99 for you. And I might get maybe a dollar or so. So let me show you how you use Waves Tune to convert audio to MIDI. Once you have Waves Tune installed, I've got a project here, a guitar part, let's solo. Let's have a quick listen of the guitar part, which is just this part here. I want to convert into MIDI. You get the idea. 
I want to have a string part that's playing the same note. Just going to add Waves Tune Mono. And here we are. Just going to leave everything as, as it is. And let's press play and let it capture. Okay, done. Let's have a look. It's all there. All the notes are there. We are not trying to pitch correct this. We just want the notes to be converted into MIDI. The note part, this is the part where it, it tries to join multiple notes which, which are close to each other into one single note. So just watch the screen here as I adjust that. So I'm just going to select all of it and I'm going to increase the note number so that we get less notes. As you can see around here, how that note as it's disappearing. So just below that, so we're not losing too many notes. I'll say about 50 is a good one, or thereabouts, depending on how fast the notes are being played. And once we've got that, we apply and we click Export MIDI. And under my project, I'm just going to save it and overwrite the one which I've already done as I was testing. So now we have MIDI notes of the guitar playing. And let's add an instrument. I'm just going to select the string section and create it. Okay, just going to drag that up over there. And from my browser of the files, let's go to files, project files, that's where it is. That's wave tune. That's the file that I saved, the location that I saved. It all depends where you save your files. That's where you're going to find it. And I'm just going to drag it right there. And here we go. We have all those MIDI. Let's double click. And these are the MIDI notes that the waves tune converted. Of course, we can go in and edit, but let's have a quick listen to see what it sounds like. Just going to open up um, the console. Let's have a listen. That's just a string. And there we go. That's how easy it is. Of course, you can do the rest. Now I can turn wave tunes off, make sure it doesn't auto tune and get the life out of the guitar playing. And let's give it a try again. Okay, there's a bit of low note there, just so I can show you how we can edit some of those notes. So sort of the guitar's low notes that there we don't need. And if we can see any extra notes around. Yeah, we probably don't need that one either. And there we go. That's how it's done. So if wave tune is what you're after to convert audio to MIDI, make sure you use the my affiliate link below. That way you get some discount so you don't have to pay even the $35.99. I'm pretty sure it's about uh, probably 7 or 10% cheaper than that as well. And if this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next video.